All right, guys, we are back on the Sky Factory server, and we need to upgrade our armor. I told you last episode that we needed to get this done, and it's going to be super, super hard to accomplish this. Let's come in here. We're going to be making, um, I showed you guys last time, um, this armor, where is it at? This right here. This is what we're going to be making for ourselves. And it's going to be super hard to do. Let's, um, we got to create these. You get all these little charms, which is really cool. Um, but we're not going to worry about that just yet. We need to actually make the armor itself. Um, so we got to create all these ingots. We will make these. We need to make some nether stars to get the special stuff. Um, but we're not going to worry about all those details just yet. Um, for now. We're just going to make, let's see, the actual armor. We need some premium ingots. Now you'll notice it says the word craft underneath, and I'm doing something kind of weird right now. We need all these items to make this, um, including 20,000 Inferium Essence. So I'm going to click Start. And if we look, we have 61,000, so we're good on that. But you'll notice I didn't actually do anything. It's because it's actually taking it out of here to create the stuff for us. Um, let me show you what we did uh, because this is actually kind of important. I'm going to be doing most of my crafting moving forward this way. We made these little crafters here. And I've got these. We'll actually do this here in a second. Um, but I've got these right here for ourselves. Um, really cool. Uh, patterns that you can make for yourself and so basically I just made a pattern for creating the inferium into the I don't even know how you say it the new essence and then this one for the new essence you see it says inputs there that's what you put into it and then you get the output of it um, so we got all the essence here we even got the thing for the crystal and then you come over to this one and this is how you create the patterns for these and then we got all this over here um, we're going to be making some uh, crafting patterns for um, the crafting um, inferium seeds and then we got more ingots there we actually have a blank one here so the way you do it is you actually use a pattern grid so let's get some patterns real quick we got 25 left for ourself and then we need let's see we can make some inferium nope some crafting seeds we would need to make a base one that has the prosperity shards and the seeds so you throw that there you throw this in create a pattern and like that we have a pattern and so now we can literally just come over here throw this in bada bing bada boom and if we wanted to make the base seeds which we already have a bunch we would just come in here and make them so that's super simple. And it, I will say that it builds off of each other. So if we wanted to create these, you use those base crafting seeds and we don't have enough of these, it automatically makes them so that you can create this one. So that's really cool how that's set up. So let's go ahead and make the tier one. Bada bing, bada boom, and we're done. Let's make the tier two and like that. And tier three. Beautiful. Tier four. Marvelous. And tier five. And just like that, we can now make a ton of tier five crafting seeds. Super simple. We just need to ask it to do it for us. Um, now, I will say that. The fact that the crafter only takes up this little bit, I wish it could carry more. I don't think there's a way to increase that. So you just have to make a ton of these crafters for yourself. Each one uses up a bunch of RF. So we may have to end up getting a whole nother system of generators for ourselves. So we may actually have to expand this down here to over here and have it input power over here this way just to kind of double our power. Um, but I'm not worried about that right now because we got 5,000 RF going in. Um, so I think we're good as far as speed or as far as power right now. We're only using 81. 
I think we're good for a little bit. Um, so now if we came in here and wanted to do a crafting seed, we literally could come in here, craft it, and go. And you think, what in the world do we need this for? So we have the Inferium up top. If we were to go up there, and we actually can go visit here in a minute. But if we were to um, want to create diamond seeds that would actually make us diamonds, we could use these with some essence to create diamond seeds. And then when you plant it and it, it um, matures, it would actually give you diamonds. Same thing with emeralds and wither skeleton skulls, uranium, uh, millennium, which I really want, uh, vibrant alloy, terrasteel, draconium, and eulorium. All those things are actually really precious metals that we need for ourselves. We could do gold for tier four, lapis, experience, none of these interest me. And seeds, blaze seeds, that would be nice, but we need blaze chunks, which we don't have. Gas seeds, enderman seeds, steel, nickel, we got all of these. So all of this, the cobalt seeds, that would be really nice. We probably could do some cobalt seeds. Solarium, dark steel, pulsating iron, and electric alloy. Really out of all that, only the um, cobalt interests me. Um, right now to get cobalt, you need to crush netherrack. To make netherrack, you come over here, put iron in it, or put lava in there, and then you put redstone in here, and it creates netherrack for ourselves. This is also how we were getting glowstone, or how we were getting endstone. You put glowstone in there, and it creates endstone for yourself. You put it in here, into the crusher, and then the crusher turns it into crushed netherrack. You see we've got some endstone as well in there. And then you stick it in to the sieves with iron sieve and that will create a one percent chance of cobalt so crushed netherrack if you put in the sieve will give you cobalt to potentially give you ardite as well it's a one percent chance so a hundred of them will give you one <laughs> so it, it takes a lot um, right now I've already made three ingots you'll see I have this here I'll talk about this in a second um, and we've got 12 plus five more ingots so this thing is a crossbow as you can tell I've made this kind of bolt um, has really excellent attack and accuracy has the ability to modify which I haven't done yet um, this thing here um, has slow draw speed it's not like the fastest ever but has a good range attack and some modifiers for ourself um, I haven't worked well with it yet I still need to upgrade um, via experience if you kill monsters with this it actually will give you experience working with the device so I can literally just sit here I made this platform down here for myself literally to shoot now the downside is to you slowly use up this. So I only have 55 arrows left. You see the ammo right there. Um, so that is a downgrade. But the more and more you use this, the better you get um, experience and it actually upgrades the items that you're using. And so one of the upgrades you can get is that it auto heals. And so you automatically fill this back up if you are able to get a better um, update. So you see where the XP is and then below it it talks about insatiable. There's other upgrades it'll give you as you gain more experience with the thing. Down in the left right left hand corner at the bottom it's going to once we get enough experience tell us that it's improved a little bit. Oops. The good news is if you accidentally waste an arrow it does stick down there for us. So we can go back and later and pick it up. Where are we at? Oh, one more shot. All right, look down at the bottom left-hand corner. You are now accustomed to the bolt, to the weight of the bolt. Beautiful. So we got insatiable. Oh, it did not give us a specific upgrade. There's a little bit of a bonus ammo. The attack has improved. 
Um, I could have used a different fletching if I wanted to. I chose not to. Um, I think this is one of the better crossbows and bolts I could make for myself. I wanted to make a really, really good one. I don't know if it's necessarily the best. Um, and unlike Pokemon, I don't want to necessarily be the very best, but I need to have better than I had, which was nothing. So let's go ahead and get rid of all these guys down here. Come on. How dare you shoot at me? Come on. Come on. There we go. All right, so we'll pick up all this stuff. Ooh, we even got a creeper head. Nice. That is one of the little additions I didn't know about this is um, it has a, I don't know what it's called, but a specific sharpness on it that allows us to um, get heads. So we've gotten a head for skulls and for creepers. So it's got a lot of fun stuff with that. Throw this in here. Now, if I was wanting to um, fix this, which I don't right now, I'll show you how to do that. Um, I need to improve my um, mal malarium. I don't know how to say it. Right now, I only have three, so I don't want to keep using them. But what you would do is you go over here, throw this in there, throw this in there. <gasps> oh, I can't upgrade anymore? I can't repair it anymore? Or is it this? Oh, I'm sorry. It's this. And so that would fix it, but I don't want to do that right now. I want to get a better supply of this, which really the only way we can get that right this second is, ooh, I did not mean to do that. I'm going to keep this on me just to have, but I don't plan on using it. Um, the best way to do that is from loot bags, and then you create a seed out of it for the essence, and that helps. Ooh, we're missing a lot of bags. So let's create two. I can even create two. I can't even create one. Well, that's silly. Watch this. This is how I create my loot bags. You take a whole bunch of gunpowder. You grab it all. Come over to the recycler. Throw it in there. all of it and it's creating loot bags that loot bag is going into this compressor and boom I got some loot bags you do it again and when you run out of this then you go to arrows which ooh, we do not have a ton of arrows and you just keep going and going and going and then eventually you'll get a loot bag um, you'll be able to make enough to make one legendary loot bag for yourself Simple enough. Now it is also pulling from our new mob farm that we have over here. Come over here, grab some experience for ourselves if we need to. So yeah, let's see where we are at with our um, ingots. We've got 13 of them going, I believe, if we wanted to. Oh, we cannot make it without that. Oh, we're not going to be able to make our armor today, are we? Because we need to make armor core. Well, that stinks, because we need nether stars to do that. Oh, man. So, we need to kill a wither to create our, our uh, yeah, wither. Hmm. So, give me a sec. I'm going to go create a little chamber for killing withers. Um, and I'm going to jump back because I want this armor this episode. So give me one second. All right, guys. So I've got the setup over here. It's been a couple of days. If you notice my voice, it's um, a little bit raspy because I'm sick. Um, in the three or four days in between the last bit and now I ended up getting sick. Down for several days, almost two and a half days. So... Here I am. Um, I've been. I had to create this uh, reinforced class with wither skulls because this is the only thing that will stand um, a wither. And because I don't want my entire place to be utterly destroyed, I had to do this. 
Um, to get this done, I had to, I created this obviously out of obsidian, um, but to create that, or the wither skulls, I needed to create wither seeds, so I had to get wither skulls to make wither seeds. It's been a whole thing. I did create um, this premium sword because otherwise I'd be sitting here showing you how to kill this wither for like three minutes stabbing him. That's how long it took to kill the first one. Um, this crossbow is amazing on this thing. Look how it takes like 30 health every single time and for an armor four, that's really, really good. All right, so we get him down and then we just whack him with the sword. I could go in there. But what's the point in taking the damage? You can actually automate this whole process, so I don't have to sit here and do this manually. Um, but for the foreseeable future, I will. All right. Beautiful. That was another star we got. Um, I believe you can eat these? You can. Holy smokes. That helps my health. All right, so... Um, that was not my first nether star. I have eight of them now. So if I come in here and want to make the armor, I have to make this armor core first, which is a whole progression. So let's make one, two, three, four of these. Um, these are for the um, armor, and then there's a different one totally for um, these items. So I can show you the pickaxe here in a minute. But let's now make, oops, nope, I don't want that one. Yeah, I do. Um, four of those, and then, oh, I'm so tired from being sick. I'm tired of being sick. All right. Four of those, and then four of these, hooray. And then I'll do, uh, I'll make a pickaxe for you guys. And there's a whole thing about Bob you can do with that to give it special stuff. But let's come in here. We'll make one. Seems like a lot of work just to make one. But for you guys, I'll do it. Make that one. And this one. And this one. And this one. And now let's go ahead and make, oh, to do this also, you need these mystical rods. So make two of those. And then let's go ahead and throw that in. Boom. So if we come, if we pull up a normal pickaxe, um, it's five damage, two and a half speed, durability 1500. This one is um, undamageable and 19 attack at 1.2 speed so 19 to 5 same speed but you do break them so that's pretty amazing all right now for armor let's do this and then this we'll enchant all this stuff next time we're not going to do that today and then that and then the trousers oops beautiful so we'll put the charms in later but if we throw all this on and we look at ourselves. Yes, we look red. That's okay. But we can fly now. And I fa in fact, I think, do we still get fall damage? We do not. So now we do not get fall damage when we drop. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Guys, we are rocking it. Now I don't have to worry about power in this jetpack anymore. Um, if I were to want to go fast, I can actually get an upgrade to this. But this is so much faster than my... Um, uh, jetpack that I had. It was super slow to move around. So if I go into the nether, I'll be able to get to the nether fortress fast. I can come up here fast. It's beautiful. I actually expanded this. Got some more crops going. Got almost all of that done. We are doing well. We got so many more chickens. I think the next live stream I'm doing, I'm going to build out the chicken area. Um, I can't cover the um, solar array there. So I'm going to probably go this way and make a chicken hut and then go one more this way and I'll be right over this and make it for like either the trees or the cows. And then right here is where I'm going to build the house. I'm going to build myself a Minecraft house. Um, and so I'm going to do a lot of those buildy type things that really aren't going to affect significant amounts of gameplay. Um, 
on the ch uh, on the live stream. So if you want to go watch that, you can. If you miss live streams, you can always check out the Patreon channel to catch all of that. Anyways, guys, it's been fun. I got ooh, maybe we'll do that. I got my stuff. It looks good. I'm so happy. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya. Bye.